Hi everyone, uh, this is Kumar here. I'm again back with another Wednesday talk. So this time it is very interesting, uh, interesting topic. I can say like shortcuts. So where the shortcuts are used in real time when you're working as a mainframe developer uh, in any of the projects. So I have gathered few important shortcuts so that I have worked in the real time. Uh, thought like let me share and maybe that would be helpful to you. And, and also you can share this if you like this information okay so let me get started with this so sort cards are generally used uh, in a various different projects if you are working in a banking health insurance or different domains so definitely this sort cards uh, will be used so what is the main importance of this uh, so these play a powerful like in fact we call, we can call this as a powerful tool uh, for managing and uh, analyzing larger data sets on the mainframe systems so where this can be used right so they can be used for sorting a large volume of data and you can merge multiple different data sets uh, and you can perform calculations and do some transformation as well and there are many other things that you can do uh, or copying the data or uh, or joining different uh, using join keys and there are many interesting things that I'll be sharing in the next slides okay okay so let me get started with this very simple example connecting to the banking project so this is the what is the different uh, code that you are seeing is a simple sort card so with the uh, exit statement renamed as a program sort and you can see then input data sets uh, which is named as bank or data and then the output data set which will be the result data sets and you can see the sort card where it is uh, sorting the account number in an ascending order okay so in a banking project so there may be a large amount of data that needs to be sorted in a specific order uh, to be useful so in that case we use this sort card so sort card will act as a instructions that tells the mainframe how to sort the data for example let's say bank has a data set containing customer account information including their account number name balance and other data if the bank want to sort this data in ascending order based on account number they would definitely use this sort card to specify that the data should be sorted by the account number field in an ascending order so this would be the sort card definitely they might be using it i'm damn sure so if you're working in this banking project this sort card is definitely used in the projects and this will be really helpful to you okay so in this example uh, as i'm sell, telling the sort card specifies that the input data is a bank dot data should be sorted based on the account number field in an ascending order so and if you want to sort it in a descending order you can do put it as a d so it would sort it in a descending order okay so this is a simple example just to get to get started okay so the another one so the the top one i can say uh, is a merge okay so what we are trying to do is we are trying to sort a multiple data sets uh, or come i mean combine uh, combine it different data sets into your one different output file okay so the merge sort card is used to combine two or more data sets into a single output data sets and this is a useful for combining transaction data from multiple sources uh, such as we can uh, such as like a checking account or saving account into a single data for anal analysis okay so let's say so you have this checking data set and you have this uh, saving data sets and you wanted to combine uh, these two data sets into an um, uh, one data set or you want to merge uh, into your one uh, one output file so then definitely you can use this merge a uh, sort card so as i said like these are combining together so you have to specify a different parameters like key field so what is a key field in with these two data sets and what is the length of that and what is the format that we are uh, using whether it's an ascending order or an uh, uh, descending order so this is how we specify and it will quickly get started and as you know like the mainframes are uh, process i mean it can take a million instruction per second or i can say like mips so a uh, millions of uh, records can be copied in a seconds so this would be very useful or important uh, sort number one i can say okay 
next going to the sort number two okay sort card number two so here you can see uh, an input data set sorted and uh, you can see an output data set and here I'm using sort fields equals to key field length format ascending or descending and we are also using some of the parameters that is include condition and an omit condition okay so these sort cards are used to include or exclude record from the output based on a specified condition like for example you could include only records where the account balance is greater than 1000 okay and you can exclude all the records where the customer has a negative balance i don't want uh, when where the customer uh, where the customers have a negative balance so i'm omitting it and i want only the records where customer balance is greater than $1,000 okay so so in that way we can use include and omit condition so there is a specific reason to use this condition so I was explaining with a simple example here like account balance is greater than 1000 and account uh, not negative they don't have a negative balance so these data once this is processed so this will be used for a different analysis so now if I change this condition from $1,000 uh, to, let's say, uh, $100,000, $100,000, so then that they may be a high wealthy customers, right? So whoever is having the balance greater than 10, 100,000, so they are wealthy customers. So then a marketing team or the business team can take a specific decisions and they can offer some in, uh, some thing to those specify high network individual customers. So yeah. So there would be different process that goes on here. So, but for now to understand the sort card, so you have to connect, you have to connect and imagine like why we are using this sort card. So it will be very interesting. So when you're working on this, like, so yeah, uh, so include condition. So greater than thousand dollars. So that would, that would go. And we are trying to omit the conditions if there are negative balance. So I don't want that record. So, so this sort card plays a very important role. Okay. This is the number two, I can say. Number three, okay, joining, okay. Uh, so join keys, uh, this is uh, this is also one, I can say like one of the very important shortcuts that we regularly use in our day-to-day -day project, okay. So as you can see, we, again, we are the, the, the utility that is used is a sort and how many input files we have like sort in, sort two, these are the two different out input files and we are having one output file so okay let's see here we are using join keys and uh, sort fields okay what is join keys the join keys sort card is used to join two or more data sets based on a common key field based on a common key field this is useful for combining data from multiple sources into a single data set for analysis the syntax that we are seeing for the join card is as follows the join key card is used to combine data from two input data sets into a single output for data sets right uh, based on the common sort key the sort field one and uh, sort field two parameters the sort field one and the sort field two parameters specify the field to use the sort key in each data sets and uh, we can say like the sort card is used to sort the combined data between it is written into the output data sets so first what we are trying so we are joining it's like if you if you are good in a sql a sql right so when they use the join key right so both the fields both two fields should have a common field name then only we you can join two different tables so here we are using the same concept so we are trying to join we are trying to fetch the first field information and the second field information uh, the say common field uh, from both the data sets and we are trying to after a joining then we are trying to sort sort it sort it based on the length format and so on okay so this was the number three and let's look at the number four so the number four is an outfill outfill type a uh, sort card I can say so everything remains same so we are trying to sort uh, uh, you can see you can uh, look at here like we have a one input file 
but multiple output files so far earlier what we have seen we have seen only one different input files and one output files all the three different sorts cards right or we we were trying to combine into one output file or we are trying to fetch the in join two tables not tables uh, two files into and one into one output file so here we are trying to split uh, input into a multiple output files okay so then that we uh, we use outfill so what we are trying to do here we are trying to sort fields in the, the same thing which field you want to sort and the length of that field and the format and uh, and then whether it's an ascending or descending order okay so then outfill file names so what is output how uh, do you want what is the condition that we need to apply so that we will be applying uh, with include condition and then you are trying to build an expression by specifying the expression thing okay okay so as you can see here output card is used to create two output data set right sort out one and sort out two from a single input data set the include parameter specifies the condition for including records in the output file while the build parameter specifies the data fields to include in the output file so what are the data fields that you want to include in the output file so that you can specify here okay so this specifies like i want the file this file to be split into two and okay you are trying to split the file but what is the condition that condition you will be adding it with the include keyword okay okay now the condition is satisfied do you want me to copy the entire uh, fields into these output files or you ha you have a specific uh, requirement that specific fields information you want to copy then you can build that specific expression and you can specify those fields so only those fields information that can uh, information only copy to the output files okay so this is a uh, uh, number four uh, sort code okay the next coming to the uh, number five so we have uh, another utility i can see like we have like uh, uh, ice tool ice tool is another uh, utility so wherein uh, we can use uh, uh, using this ice uh, ice tool so we, we we will see what all we can do here okay ice tool utility provides a wide range of data processing function maybe you can ignore this part sorry Okay, ice tool utility provides a wide range of data processing functions beyond basic sorting, uh, comma, including summarization, merging, and matching. This is useful for performing complex data analysis tasks in a banking project or insurance project or uh, any uh, any different projects where the mainframe is used. Okay. As you are seeing, the syntax of this is like this. So the ice tool is used to use it to perform a data processing task specified by the function parameter. Okay, the display from in to out. The display from in to out using a specific routine can be used here. Okay, so this is about the ice tool. The next, the number six is a df sort. Okay, so the df sort utility uh, uh, it's the same thing but a different way of using it the df sort provides a mechanism to define and use symbols for complex sorting and processing operations symbols can be used to define constants uh, or counters or other variables that are used throughout the sort process you can see for example a symbol might be defined to represent a date format or a currency symbol which can be used throughout the sort operations so in this the in this example you are seeing that percent let statement is used to define a symbol called symbol name it is used to define a symbol called symbol name with a value of value this symbol can be used throughout the sort operation okay so this is another one then uh, number seven so resize uh, resize is another uh, 
uh, important uh, parameter that we use in one of the shortcuts. The resize shortcut is used to change the size of a field in the data set. This is useful for converting between character and numeric formats or for truncating or uh, padding fields to a specific length. Uh, in this example that what we are seeing is uh, this the resize card is used to change the size of the field name uh, field to length of length and convert it to the specific type from characters to numeric type so this is how it's used for the resize okay so then I next look at the ninth one Sorry, this was seventh, and uh, we'll look at the eighth one. So, sort in DD uh, input data set, sort out, sort out DD output data sets. Then we have overlay. Okay, so the overlay shortcut is used to modify the contents of a field in the data set. This is useful for performing data transformation or inserting data into your fields. The syntax for the overlay card is as follows like, uh, as you can see. So in this example, uh, the overlay card is used to insert a value, insert a value into the field name, starting at position, and uh, followed by the length. Okay, what is the length of it? So, so that will overlay in the output file. Okay. Ninth one. So some fields. So the sum sort card is used to calculate the sum of numeric fields in the data set. This is useful for aggregating data and producing some summary reports. Okay. Uh, as you can see here, the sum card is used to calculate the sum of one or more numeric fields in the data set specified by the field name, uh, start, uh, length and the type. Okay. This is uh, about the sum. And then we have uh, include and omit condition. I think we have already seen, but just wanted to explain this again. Like, uh, okay, so the include or omit condition shortcuts are used to include or exclude records from the output based on the specified condition. This is useful for filtering data based on the specific criteria, such as like account balance or transactions data. Okay. The include and omit cards are used to filter the input data set before it is sorted. So, okay, before it is sorted, this will be applied. Okay, okay so these were the different uh, 10 shortcuts that uh, will be definitely used if you are working on a, in any of the mainframe projects, regardless of the domain that you are working. So, just thought of sharing it. So, these are here. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this uh, video. So if you do like this, please kindly please share or subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.